On today's Cooperative Extension Connection, we're going to be talking about ladybugs and how we can use them for natural insect control. It's important to know the four life stages of the lady beetle so that you know what stages feed on your uh, predatory insects. So we have the eggs, we have the larvae, we have the pupae, and the adult. The feeding stage is where they are in their larvae and in the final stage. Today we're going to be releasing some rare nine-spotted ladybugs into our garden. We're trying to make a breeding colony of a really rare ladybug. So I purchased these from Cornell uh, Entomology Lab. Uh, so the adults are going to be the flyers and the larvae are going to be the little crawlers and we're going to release them on here on a host plant. It's always key to find in your garden a good host plant that maybe has a population of insects you want to get rid of. This is a milkweed plant that is notorious for having aphids on it. The larvae when you buy them have some little aphids in there to keep them uh, snacking while they come. And I'm going to be releasing these larvae right here onto this plant so that they stay right here and have a little available meal for their first time out of the container. Sometimes when you're purchasing ladybugs, they come as adults. Um, sometimes in the greenhouse business, you'll buy 10,000 of these little guys at one time. The rare nine spotted, they're a little fewer in number. So we bought a little container of 40. You would normally get this container, spray them down with a little bit of Pepsi that would glue their wings together for one night and keep them eating before they would fly away. Uh, today we're just going to release this little group right here in our garden and hopefully they make a nice breeding colony. So I'm going to take them right out of the container and just tap them onto our little host plant. And now they have a little new home right here in our garden. Okay. For more information on ladybugs or any horticultural topics, call your local Cornell Cooperative Extension office or go to their website. And like Roger mentioned, for more information, you can always head over to any of the Cornell Cooperative Extension websites you see here on the screen.